game. Seventh pitch of the AB coming up. And there's a call third strike. How about that? Mason Barnett, first strikeout of the day. And the big difference in that game, JJ, was the five errors made by Alabama State. And if you think, well, they can just limit the errors. He is at 16 right now in the inning. Swing and a miss, strike three. Three. It's been Blake Rambush. There's a swing and a miss. Rambush goes down swing. Now the veteran center fielder for the Auburn Tigers is hit on the first pitch. And Howell's going to be awarded first pitch. Just take it, but when they make a mistake, make you pay. There's a ball driven out to left center field. It's going to go into the canyon. Howell will be waved to the plate. How about this? An RBI double for Sonny Deshero to put the Tigers on the board here first in the opening inning in Birmingham a year ago. And Carlson hits this one well down the right field line. Sliding and making the grab and right is McIntosh. As we see to share a tag and head to, th to run, but Auburn would have had another runner in scoring position probably at third if he doesn't make that play. Moore with the ground ball to short. It's handled by DeGuzman. Lebester. There's a swing and a miss. Fifth strikeout of the ball game for Mason Barnett. They were, you know, he told us this morning, you know, there wasn't a, a huge heritage of winning. Uh, you know, he came in, took over the program, and. and 0 oh, 2, hit on the ground to short. Brody Morris got it. He throws on to first. And the top of the third is over. All of us, and I love that his son talking about the responsibility and just telling the batter's box for the Tigers. As this 1 2 hops up to the plate, Rambush takes off towards second. And Auburn's got a runner in school. baseball opportunities in the future, but enjoying every second playing for Auburn. This pitch gets past the catcher, Hunter May. A walk, and then you have Deshera coming up to drive both runs in, giving him some pitches to hit. He's done a great job of either laying off or fouling it and then works the walk there. 0-2 oh, on the way. There's a swing and a miss. A big strikeout. Change up here. 2-2 two, two on the way. Swing and a miss. And Brody Moore is retired after. All of these last three hitters have been well out front of the changeup, as you see right there in, in Alabama State. With great pitch from Cologne and looking like they're going to get out of this one. Indeed they will as De Guzman makes the catch. Has gotten from Mason Barnett so far has really been impressive. Here's a slow roller, tough play to be made. And how about that? It's Corey King breaking up. Gabe Gross, barehanded grab. Out to right field, it's a base knock for Espinall. King's gonna take off towards third. The throw was cut off by the Tiger shortstop Brody Moore. And now the Hornet, who's been the batter, the senior shortstop. Hits this one on the ground. Fielded by Farquhar, second for one. A relay to first is in time as Auburn turns the double play. The Hornets do tie the game at one, but that's a win for Mason Barnett. Big to seven pitches before May is retired. Mason Barnett with his sixth strikeout of the night. First inning. 2-1 on the way to Ryan Dial. It's hit well out towards left center field in left. Williams makes the play for out number one. Strikes when he needs it, but also for the strikeout is affecting the timing of the Auburn hitters because they have to receivers coming to the plate soon. So try to get out of this inning right now. Here's a ground ball to second. The play is not made by Espinal. It kicks off the second baseman for the Hornets and the Tigers have runners at first and second. One, two on the way. Called third strike. Rambush goes down looking. Right at Howell right here. The three ones high, it's ball four. The sixth walk. If they can get out here against Deshera, they're gonna feel really good. They will feel good as it is a strikeout. His best stuff uh, with bases loaded and, and big time jams. So, you know, he's got Alabama's the kids at the college level, but his former school and... Lewis drives this one deep into the left center field gap. That's gonna go all the way to the wall. Extra bases for Chris Lewis. He's got a two-out double for Alabama State. And so far, he's done that tonight. Fly ball to center. Kaysen Howe makes the play, and that's out number three. We head to the cleanup batter, Brooks Carlson, swings at this first pitch. It's hit out into left field as Carlson is going to throw on the brakes at first, a long single to get it started in the fifth inning. His team a deep start to help them in this long week, and so far he's done that. Brody Moore drives one to the right center field gap. 
on the run in right field. McIntosh makes the play. A lot of change-ups and has a really good change-up. It's the hardest pitch to hit, so it's Auburn's probably feeling good about having a new guy in there. No doubt about that as Pierce knocks this one off the wall. Auburn's going to wave the base runner to the plate. Carlson coming in to score for the Tigers. How about that? A triple for Bobby Pierce. Can get a chase in the dirt on. Payoff pitch misses inside, ball four. Tinning. One two pitch, called third strike. Bryson Ware can't believe it. Blow the game open with a, a bigger lead than just one run. First pitch inside to Garrett Farquhar, got him. And Farquhar is in some pain. Rambush with the ball hit out in the left field. Auburn will wave two runners to the plate. Dial scores, and the Tigers are in front, four to one. Give DeShera a chance to hit with bases loaded. On the ground to short, Alabama State tosses over to second. The force out to bring the inning to the close. All Side angle, I mean, you look at the numbers, a lot of strikeouts, you know, a fastball in the low 90s. What a play from Blake Rambush for round number one in the inning. Lefties because of the angle, uh, but with his kind of stuff, it's going to be really effective. Back to Armstrong, he's not able to make the play. You know, halfway to home, knew it was going to be a strike and just kind of put an awkward swing on it, but... There's ball four and the bases are loaded. You talked earlier in the sixth. That's ball four. Auburn has walked in a run and the throw back down got a little wild there. Unfortunately, inside it, he's going to have a good pitch to hit. That pitch misses outside, back-to-back -back walks to bring in a run. Counts working the walks. There is a walk on four pitches, and the game is tied. Three straight runs come in. Also a strike. This 0-1 pitch is popped up in the air. That's going to stay in the infield, and that's the second out. Out of the zone, so I would make him throw a strike. And he doesn't. Jabronski Williams works the walk. Alabama State has taken a 5-4 lead over Auburn. Two strikes, obviously that's not every hitter. 2-1 hit to right field. The inning comes to a close for Auburn. Alabama State all of a sudden able to put up four runs, like you said, on no hits. How about this, Sonny Deshera starting off the bottom of the sixth. He tucks this one right inside the left field line. The second double of the day for Sonny Deshera. Nothing into the count as Harris comes home. Call third strike. Carlson goes down looking. Brody Moore, the batter for Auburn. Pops the first pitch up out towards shallow right field. McIntosh and the second baseman Espinal are there. Fastball's even in a 3-2 count. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Brings the sixth inning to a close. But against Burkhalter, that's going to be tough. On the ground, back up the middle, fielded at short by Brody Moore, and the throw over to first. The one-two pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. What a pitch from Blake Burkhalter to get the first down of the inning. Wilson tattooed that baseball. There's a swinging strike that the catcher, Ryan Dio, can't hold on to. Espinal trying to protect the plate, trying to drive in another insurance run for Alabama State. Chases after that one, and the ninth inning comes to a close. And so Auburn's going to have to hit their way on. This ball hit to second. Espinal with an amazing defensive play from his backside. Payoff pitch, hit back up the middle, diving play made by the shortstop to Guzman. He can't hold on to it though, and Auburn gets that one out base runner. Put a good swing on a pitch. 2-1 to Hill, hit out to right field. That's down for a base hit. Pierce will hold at second. The Auburn Tigers have runners at first and second. Swing and a miss, strike three. Pooler needed a strikeout, he got it, as Foster really up the middle. 1-1 to Bello. Runner takes off towards third. The throw down is late. Pierce is safe as it got away. You know, that it's not a high percentage play. And there's ball four. A walk to Mike Bello to off. The 1-2 pitch. 
Back to off, off the glove of the pitcher. One run will score. The throw over to first is late, and we are tied at five. Can't afford to throw a wild pitch or anything here. Swing and a miss, strike three. How is retired, but inning number 10. 2 1, hit to center field deep. How running back, leaping and makes the grab in center field. How about the all out effort from the off? The new catcher behind the plank. One and two to May. And there's a call, third strike. The one two. Swing and a miss, strike three. A pair of strikeouts. And get a runner in scoring position that way. The 2-2, two -two, hammered center field, deep and racing back to make the play in deep center field is Trenton Jamison. <laughs> Nothing in two and Carlson gets a base hit out to right field. Auburn down here in the 10th. Moore, first pitch swinging, down the line to third, Lopez can't handle it. It's a fair ball, it's in play, and Auburn's got runners at first. Swing and a miss, strike three. Second out of the inning. Here to LaRue. This ball out towards shallow left field. It'll get down for a base hit. Auburn waving Carlson to the plate. He scores and the Tigers win on a walk off. Nate LaRue delivers in the 10th inning as Auburn defeats Alabama State by a score of six to five. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that the outfielders were playing as deep as they were with the winning run at second base. Typically, you have them playing shallower so that a situation like that doesn't happen. You have to be able to throw a runner out at, at home plate on a base hit, and 